they should be zipping around on one of them school things. What do they call a cholo who drives an Impala? Okay, so this um, this twin wall polycarbonate sheeting, it's pretty dusty, pretty dirty. So I'm just going to wipe it down. And by the looks of things, it's a lot of it's actually probably been in some hail. There's a lot of hail dints. I'd say it's hail dints. I know I have to do this anyway um, before I put the fabric on, but I may as well do it now so I don't have dust falling on me when I watch movies up until, because it's going to be a while before I actually do the Starfield ceiling. I've got to go and get a razor blade. So I'm going to try my best to kind of get this off. So I'll just grab a razor blade. See if this will work. The guy who gave me this stuff at the dump, he said that um, he just pulled it off a, um, a, a structure. Apparently, I don't know if it was business owners or homeowners had put it up illegally, all of this stuff, and his job was to pull it down. So that's, what he, that's how I came across it. Worth a pretty penny, that's for sure. I think I got about four and a half grand's worth of sheeting as well as all the alloy and the edging that comes along with it, the accessories. It's coming off. Oh, there we go.
There we go. I think I have to do that to about two or three sheets. It doesn't have to be perfect, just get most of that height off. That's all. I mean, this stuff here is going to be probably back behind the soffit anyway, so you're not going to see it. But um, I do need it to kind of get pushed in a tight space, which is why I can't have this high, high spots. So that's ready to be put up into the ceiling, <laughs> onto the ceiling I should say. But I'll put that over here for the time being. No silicon on this, I'm just going to go and wash my rags. You can see this U stuff is a little bit rough around the edges, but it doesn't matter because it's going to be covered with velvet. You won't see any of that mark, all of those dents. Other than that, these are in really good shape. Really good shape. In fact, there looks like there's a bit of silicon here. I might just um, grab that razor blade. go. This side looks pretty good. I think I've already cleaned this recently. All right, there we go, all done. Nicely wiped down and they look really nice. Um, but uh, like I said, I, I'm not gonna be doing, you know, covering this with velvet, you know, straight away. Uh, I'm not sure, hopefully in the next few weeks I'll be doing that and I'll wipe them down again anyway. But that took about an hour. So um, we've got them scattered around here, all eight sheets, three meters long. But uh, what do you think? Should we actually lift some up to the ceiling now and see how they fit? I reckon we should. I've been working all day for this moment, so I'll just set you up over here and get to it.
All right, so we've got the first half up there. They're very loose. This is where the magic happens. Check this out. I'll just come up here. Grab my bit of framing. Just, I might just um, move it over. That's that end a little bit. All right. Like I said, I'll just grab this bit of framing. Let's see if we can twist it up. So there we go, look at that. And that's gonna place them up quite nicely. Beautiful. And we'll do this one here as well. Okay, let's give this a bit of a twist. There we go. Now I just have to tuck the ends into the above the soffit and that should actually be in there quite nicely.
All right. I'll just show you this part. Remember how when I um, put the soffit up, I had to put all these anchor points. Uh, you can see one just there. That's actually tied to the ceiling. So it just, there's no flex or wobble. There's a bunch of them along there. So I actually, because I'm pushing this sheet over the soffit and the soffit is actually holding it in as well. Well, I have to cut out a few slots basically. Let me just find you a spot. And I've just marked out the second sheet. I'll take you along for the ride. I think I'll cut the rest with the razor, with a knife. There we go. So this, hopefully, as long as I haven't rushed it, should just slot in quite nicely. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> now let's look at the other end. Is it? Okay. All right, I think that's right.
Come on. Okay, update time. Where are we at? As you can see, we have our polycarbonate sheeting to our ceiling and it looks amazing. It's taken me ages, hours and hours to get this spaced correctly and um, I had to take it down a couple of times and put it back up. And the main reason being is when I actually um, measured this ceiling out um, late last year, um, yeah, it's just marking everything out. I did put some extra space. Um, these sheets are one meter wide. I think I made my spacing to be like one meter, 1.5 or 1.1. Um, an extra 10 mil per sheet, I think I put. I'm not sh exactly sure, but because um, I was trying to take into account the thickness of the fabrics and all of that kind of stuff. But as it turned out, it was way too wide. I did want my sheets to go over the top of the um, the soffit edge up there and they basically weren't quite reaching. So what I had to do is if we look behind, you can see up there I've got a couple of pieces of MDF. I've just packed it out and I have packed every single one. I pulled out the saw bench and I cut these down and um, yeah, I've done that and I had to do not just this side, obviously you want to keep it even. So I've done this side as well. We've got packing up there as well. So I'd say 24 mil per side. So we're looking at a good 50 mil we've lost for the whole ceiling, which who cares about that? You could never tell. Um, but it's still going to look amazing. I'm really happy I did it because now if we have a look over here, can you see up the top there that polycarbonate sheeting is just, just going over the top edge. So it's beautiful. So I'm very happy with how that's turned out. Uh, so the plan now is we are going to mark where I want to put my magnets. Um, and then we are going to put some adhesive down and glue the magnets. Um, the best part about marking the magnets, look, check this out. You can actually see there, can you see I've actually got some magnets up there already. I wanted to put some magnets there so I could just make sure that it was all spaced throughout. Um, I can actually just, once I've um, got my masking tape, I'll kind of, well, check this out. See, I did this a couple of days ago, oh, last week I'd say. I have to redo it, pull all this off because it's out of whack now. But um, you can see those two long strokes, they will represent the furring channel and that little stroke is where the magnet will be. So once I've got this ceiling marked out, I can just drop it and look directly through it because it's clear. And uh, you can see exactly where the ma magnets should be glued and I will glue them. It's, it's just another bonus of getting this stuff. I mean, this is just the best stuff. Um, I think this is gonna be very popular. Hopefully after I've done this and got some videos showing people how good it is. But um, yeah, so talking about gluing magnets down, check this out. I've done a bit of an example. I just wanted to find out what I wanted to use to glue it. I thought I'll just get this Araldite. It's epoxy adhesive and oh man, it's so strong. Look at that, holds up to 75 kilos. But um, this stuff here is like a rock now that's been going off about 24 hours. And it is, you can't pull it off. Um, that's awesome. So that's what I'm going to use. In fact, if I put that there, I'll get a piece of fairing channel. There we go. That's how it's supposed to be. And then once it's in the center, I can actually have a bit of wriggle room. See, I can actually 
shift it left and right by about 20 mil so yeah it's really cool so very happy with how this is turning out um so what else i think that's all i'm going to quickly just just wanted to show you guys where i'm at i'm going to start doing this now i'd like to see if i can get this done by the end of this video get maybe some magnets on one or two sheets and uh, see how we go okay let's do this